Good Filipino afternoon to everybody. Derek with Q Adventures here, back at it again. Thank you very much for coming back to my channel and your continued support of my channel. Uh, today we are buying a new motorbike. And uh, we thought that we would give this new shop right here uh, a try. Uh, we pass by this shop a lot. It's called K Riders Motorcycle Sales Center and they are more uh, of a general dealership. They carry different brands rather than a uh, proprietary like Honda dealer or a Yamaha dealer, so on and whatnot. So uh, just a larger variety in my opinion. And the location of this place is uh, Mactan Newtown. It's about a quarter mile that way. And then across the street is the Jumbo Seafood and Barbecue. Uh, this place is always empty. Uh, if you ever are in the Philippines and want a $200 US dollar lobster, this is where you want to be. Um, I told them that uh, <laughs> they must have uh, sprinkled some crack cocaine dust on the lobsters for it to be that pricey, but um, the place is always empty. But anyway, today we are here for the Aerox. You know, they also have big bikes here, uh, the 200, 250 cc's. and um, the ever-famous popular NMAX and uh, a, a, just a large variety of uh, motorbikes. So I, I just thought I'd give them a try and I had the pleasure of uh, being assisted by Dailene. Her name is Dailene. So um, yeah, I have the pleasure of being hosted by her today and uh, she's helping us out. And uh, once again, we're trying something new. So we're gonna have I finance this bike so she can build some credibility. I don't know how the credit system works here in the Philippines, but uh, hopefully she has a record of some kind of credibility and um, uh, work that out. So in the process, hoping to um, uh, add to her credibility in uh, getting travel visas and stuff like that. Uh, but today we are working on this bike right here, the Aerox. It's uh, glossy black and um, it looks pretty slick. Add to our inventory. So generally how it works, in the Philippines, you know, when you come and uh, pay cash for a motorbike, uh, this place, Dailene was uh, advising me that um, it takes a maximum of 30 days to get the registration, which over here they refer to as the OR and CR. OR stands for what, uh, Dailene? Official receipt. Original receipt, and the CR is certificate of registration. Yes. Okay, so those are the two documents that makes it legal to drive the motorbike, yeah, uh, in the Philippines. And uh, I want to ask you, um, Dailene, a lot of um, dealers take up to three months to get the ORCR. So why is your dealership over here different that, you, that the maximum is uh, 30 days? Uh, because of the um, company, sir. Because of the company? Yes, Make the RCR faster for our, for the customers. So what? What is it about this company that you know like is able to make the ORCR yes, faster than the but other companies? I would imagine if you make the ORCR faster, you would get you know better business or more customers. Yes. yes. Yeah. So yes. why are other company take up to three months and don't care about? Don't know, sir. You about don't know. Them. <laughs> okay, you can't you can't speak on their behalf. I, I uh, that's fair, and um, yeah. So they, you know, the Dailin right here told me less. I mean, the maximum is uh, thirty days. And how how what is the shortest time that you got an ORCR for a customer? Uh, three weeks. Three weeks is the shortest time. Yes. Sir. So thirty days is probably the maximum. yeah. The maximum. So between three weeks and thirty days. Yes. So that's pretty. Um, uh, close in time, so I was hoping that they tell me one week or two weeks or something like that. But um, yeah, so this is uh, getting back to the Aerox that we're buying over here. Generally, this is the breakdown. If you walk in with cash money, it'll be 124000 for this uh, very unit. But if you um, finance, if you choose the financing option, they work the interest rate based on that amount, 127720 And then if you choose to uh, finance, it'll be 50,000 pesos down payment. 
and then you work off this chart right here. So if you do six months, it'll be uh, 14,000, so on, and you know, so on or whatnot, as you can see from this list. So uh, the longer the term, the more that you pay for the bike, you know, the more it costs you in interest. Uh, so we have opt for the six month uh, financing, just the shortest time. So we lose about $200 after a six month uh, period. Uh, so I just use this number right here, multiply it by six months plus the 50,000 down payment. Uh, and then it works out to about 200 US dollars more than what I would uh, pay for cash uh, payment. But still, you know, like the financing process does not interfere with the uh, maximum 30 day registration uh, uh, receipt. So, you know, like, uh, but, you know, the, the caveat is the registration will indicate uh, K Rider's name. Uh, they will hold the main title and I will be the secondary uh, title holder and after si the six month if they After they receive a payment in full then I would need to come back here and do a quick signature uh, And that would release you know like the K rider as the primary title holder and uh, um, I would be the primary full uh, title holder at that point and the difference is if you decide to um, purchase it with cash and just pay a hundred, what was it, 24,000, uh, then you know, your registration will be strict, strictly your name within the 30 day time frame. Uh, so that's generally how it works. I mean, the, the dealership that I, I use where June works, um, very nice gentleman, but anyway, you know, like uh, I frequent them and they have gotten me like a copy of the ORCR within like two and a half weeks. Uh, but you know, I noticed that their uh, financing option is uh, absurdly high. So uh, it is discri discriminatory uh, based, based on the dealership that you go to. Um, just for a comparison, you know, like I inquired a few days ago going to that uh, dealership they require I forgot what the down payment was but the 12 month payment was 14,000 per month over the 8,000 over here I think their down payment is a little bit lower but uh, I remember calculating you know like the um, interest rate you know after a 12 month period it was uh, absurdly higher than here so I'm um, looking at the numbers today I just thought I'd give this place a try especially uh, that they say the maximum of 30 days of uh, receiving the, the registration. So um, uh, that works for me. And then they also have this v Strom right here, which is a dual purpose street bike and off-roading. So uh, it's you know just as effective, you know, like off-roading. So I have my eye on this bike, but this is just a uh, example of their prices, you know, um, cash on delivery, it'll be 229,000 uh, pesos which translates to about about four thousand us dollars and then uh, if you choose to finance and this is uh, the way it is right here so it's pretty straightforward you know and um they even carry suzuki's here the bergman uh hondas the honda click 160 as well as the uh, honda pcx uh, that i personally have uh, two units of and um, all these manual um, motorcycles as well. What is this? This is uh, the Dominator 400. So um, this bike looked very interesting, but it's uh, strictly a uh, street bike. You know, I can't take this um, off-roading. So, you know, although as tempted as I am, uh, I'm gonna leave that alone for now uh, until a um, near future date, you know, we'll, we'll go ahead and hit that up. Uh, meanwhile, I hope I have answered a lot of uh, your questions in regards to purchasing a new motorbike here in the Philippines. Uh, if I've missed anything, feel free to leave a comment and I'll do my best to uh, get back to you in the shortest time possible. And uh, before I you know, let you guys go, I just want to indicate that, you know, like uh, buying new motorbikes here in the Philippines, the depreciation rate is absurdly low. So, you know, it's just like uh, if you decide to sell it a year down the line or something like that, you recuperate, you know, a lot of it, you know, like uh, 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 back, you know, like uh, for the Gravis right there, you know, a new purchase is about 90000 
and uh, I inquired on a used one. It, it's like about, uh, it, it's pretty beat up also, you know, it's just like um, they, they were selling it for about 70,000, so about 400 US dollars. Uh, or even less than that, you know, price difference between a used and a new. And because I'm not a mechanic, you know, like um, uh, I have very bad experience buying used motorbike here. You know, the first one that I bought over here, the yellow one, if like uh, that's the very one that I donated to Kim I in, in Bohol right there. Um, that was the one that I purchased used. And then uh, there was a few occasions where I had to open it up. Uh, for repair and then you know just the uh, the carburetor everything is just like not maintained at all and um, the wiring stuff like that is just all done you know very inappropriately and everything was cut very poorly so it's just uh, um, I, I prefer to buy new and in the rental business I have a uh, very high level of customer service as well so you know like all my motorbikes are purchased new uh, the only one I had that was second hand was that one that I got rid of, the yellow one that I got rid of. But um, anyway, this is um, uh, what I do. You know, I buy them new and then I maintain them very well. And after every return, whether it's one day rental or, you know, three month rental, you know, I still do a safety inspection and uh, make sure all the oils and fluids are correct and uh, all the brake pads are current and the tires and stuff like that. So um, you guys are well taken care of uh, once you, you know, if you decide to rent from my uh, motorbike rental, Q Adventures motorbike and scooter rental. Uh, meanwhile, thank you very much for tuning in, guys. I am always grateful for your patronage and viewership. Until next time, you all have a good one.